Good morning, happy Monday. We are off to the physio right now for my back. My back, butt, leg, ankle is what it's turned into. <laughs> so I'm just about to head in. I've never seen her before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also really excited to get it all sorted and then I can get back to some movement. I can't get my glasses clean. Like I keep spraying them and wiping them down, but I can't get them clean. I don't know what's wrong. I got my hand grid going on this morning. I've got work from 9 to 1.30 and I'm honestly feeling pretty unwell. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was a bad day. I had to spend some time outside and it got to me a lot more than what I thought it would. It was very, very windy. Um, so that obviously wouldn't have helped. But um, yeah, so I didn't sleep very well. My tummy isn't feeling super great. And I was kind of tossing up whether or not I was going to walk into work because I didn't know about spending the time outside. But I think I am going to walk in because my tummy's not feeling very well and I'm feeling very nauseous, which is a very distracting place to be. And I don't want to be there for work. So I'm going to walk in so I can see if that helps because movement helps with digestion so can you try i'm gonna do a plait today it's been so long since i've worn a plait i wore a ponytail yesterday and had fun so <laughs> i'm gonna wear a plait today will i look like a schoolgirl? maybe possibly yes i can't get over my hair growth i talked last week about how i've been using this new hair care and I honestly cannot get over it. Like, look at my hairline. May was when it got to its worst. I, since then, recently started this new hair care. We have been fixing some deficiencies that I've got. Um, and altogether, I am just so, I've never, like, the results speak for themselves, basically. I'm just so happy. So I think on Friday night, with late Friday night, I started the second book in the Inheritance Game series, of which I cannot remember the name, but loved it. I flew through it in two days. So by the second night after that, I finished. And then yesterday I started the third book, which is called The Final Gambit. Yesterday I started that and I read something ridiculous, like I read 215 pages. And it was just, that's fun, isn't it? It was so good. Like, so good. Um, here's my little slick stick back again. We love it. I've actually been enjoying just doing like a little bit of makeup for work because I just, like it's been so long 
since I've had to wear makeup, like, or like look presentable um, for anything really. My sister got married New Year's Eve actually, and I was her maid of honor. Um, and it is bittersweet memories because I actually slept for the majority of the wedding. I was very, very unwell um, and extremely well nourished. And I was just really unwell. And after we did the photos and the ceremony, and getting ready for the day, um, unfortunately, when the wedding came around, I was out. And I had to spend a lot of the time in bed. And it really upsets me to think about it, actually. And then looking back at photos and stuff, and I just have no idea, got no memory of it. Um, I did still get to make a speech. We had like our family's speech. I just did, did still get to make that. But. Yeah, it's just, it is a bit upsetting. Um, that was the last time that I've been, like, had to get dressed up. I missed my cousin's wedding because I was, like, being looked after my hospital at the home here. Um, so my family went up to Victoria for that. I've missed a lot of stuff this year. Um, but yeah, I just haven't had to get ready for anything. So I'm taking advantage of that with this and just like having fun actually using my makeup because I never use it. Mm -hmm. That's my new favourite way to check if I've like blended okay if you're scrubbing. Oh, my lungs really hurt. <sighs> so I went to the gym yesterday morning, which actually was really good, just paced myself and had a lot of trouble. I was very gurgly by the end and having some trouble and I realized that I just need like a small bag to take to the gym with me with like puffer, meds, and then maybe a deodorant, something like that. So today I'm going to grab one of the bigger sized bum bags from Lululemon. I'm getting a repeat script for my all my puffers. I'm going to have that ready and make sure that I take that with me every time I go to the gym. I'm actually joining a yoga studio today. I don't know if I'll go to the yoga studio, but I'm joining today so that my payments come out on a Wednesday. I'm very excited to join the yoga studio, but I think we'll talk about it later because I'm about to finish doing my makeup. So I'm I'm going to join the yoga studio, I either join it today or tomorrow, there's a 7pm class that I could go to today. Um, my aim is to do some yin, to start off with yin, which is just like really slow holding stretches and stuff like that. Um, and then hopefully like eventually be able to do more like vinyasa stuff, which I think is the more like professional one. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I... I Basically, one of the reasons I'm joining is accountability um, because I've been really struggling, especially when I'm unwell, I'm really struggling to, to make myself actually do like my yoga or my Pilates and stuff at home. So that's one of the reasons. And then the other reason is just to get myself out of the house, especially when I'm not feeling well. Um, the, uh, having work has been so good. Like today, I feel like absolute shit. Um, but I'm looking forward to going into work and being around people and having a purpose again. And normally I probably would have just had a day of appointments and, you know, spent the day in bed, probably reading. Showing me having stuff where it's, you know, I do have to get out of the house for something is actually really important for me personally. So I am going to join online. It's like a weekly payment. Um, and the one that I'm joining is a foundation membership. So your first week I think is $2 and then you start paying the weekly payment and it's really affordable. Um, it's a beautiful studio, like online. I think I've been there once before, but I can't really remember. Online, it is stunning. It's like all white, beautiful. It has like really good vibes and the timetable worked out best for me because there's heaps of classes, lots of yin and relaxation classes. I haven't been looking after my body super well recently. I've been feeling really sick and I've let that become the thought of, well, I feel sick already. I may as well eat stuff I'm not supposed to or not 
do my exercise and things like that or not move my body because I feel crap anyway which obviously isn't quite the way you want to be thinking <laughs> and it hasn't got me anywhere so <coughs> my being slowly changed that and I know I'll get there it's just gonna be really slow progress um that's okay I mean slow progress is better than no progress I've been in the depths of hating my body <laughs> recently um just every time I look in the mirror or like just feel my body like you know when you like become aware of your body I'm like I hate it and it's such an awful space to be in. and I keep trying to tell myself that my body does xyz and you know it doesn't matter what I look like and um it's been through a lot this year and it's obviously going to be yo-yoing because of changes in hormones and nutrition and everything <laughs> that it's been through um but I think the big fluctuations in my weight and my fluid and um all of that are really just getting to me um unfortunately yeah. so i'm sorry if that's you as well at the moment please know that you're not alone your thoughts about your body aren't the be all end all it doesn't actually mean that you're this big old goblin <laughs> just because you think you are anyway it's seven o'clock on the dot so i'm going to sit down and have a read i'm going to leave here at 8 30 uh, so probably around 8, I'll start getting Judas Hagrid ready for the day. Um, I have to take my computer into work to do some admin today. So my bag's going to be a bit heavier. Um, I just spoke to my sister. She's probably going to pick me up from work or I'll Uber home. Um, yes. Work was really good today, but I feel unwell. <laughs> um, my asthma was getting really bad while I was there, so I had to take a couple, like, go out of the back and have my puppers a few times. Okay, I'm back home, and I just put Elemental on that new, like, Disney movie. I finished my book, The Final Gambit. Five out of five. Honestly, the last two books in the Hawthorne series, the... Oh, I forgot the name of the series again. Um... First book is like four stars for me, but the final two were just five out of five. Like, really cool stuff. Spies, like, not really spies, but like, you know, death. It's things. It is wind down time. I'm going to get in my jammies. Wind down. I'm going to go to the gym in the morning, but I'm going to go to 7.45 in the morning. It's a little bit later. I'm a bit nervous to go when I don't know anyone, but it'll be good.
bit all over the place. I have had a few really bad days just with my lungs. I spoke to my doctor and we're just extending the steroid course for now and then I see him again on Tuesday. I got sent home from work on Friday, which was upsetting. I really tried to push myself to go and then I, w I was like trying to act as though everything was fine. <laughs> um, and they picked up on the fact that it was not, mostly because I was barking and gurgling. Um, she's a bit bubble and squeak at the moment. Wednesday night was horrific. I was home alone um, and then in the middle of the night, like literally around midnight, Maggie woke up um, vomited, was choking, couldn't breathe. Um, she was terrified. Um, at one point she absolutely couldn't breathe at all. Um, I, f I fully thought that she was going to die. It was terrifying. I rang our like emergency vet here in Hobart and the nurse was incredible. She was able to hear some of it um, and told me to go in. So I headed in, it was just a long night. Um, but Maggie's okay. She actually had a babopsy not this Friday, just gone, but the Friday before, um, and has been diagnosed with cancer, which is really sad. Um, she's almost 15, but she's been like the best dog ever. Whoa. I was talking to my friend about it and losing a pet is so hard. Um, she's so good though, like in herself, she had a few days where she was really tired and she wasn't eating and that was really worrying. Um, but we went back to see our vet to get the bobopsy results. Um, and yeah, they, if they removed the cancer, they'd have to remove like half her jaw and then like, where's your quality of life when that happens? So basically she's just like meds, the vet's talking to an oncologist. Um, and yeah, she's really good. She went for a walk yesterday, was really happy. I think she went for quite a long walk, um, with my mum. I haven't been able to walk because of the mastocytosis. Um, I just can't go outside. My doctor told me to wear an N95 mask at all times while I'm outside. Um, and it, I just can't, I can't make myself <coughs> do that. I would never judge anyone else, but for some reason I really harshly judge myself from doing that. So I've just been hiding inside. I joined the yoga studio. I was actually going to go to a class yesterday morning. Saturday morning they had like a beginner's class. Um, and then I was sick and I just didn't want to risk not being able to go to work tomorrow. And today is also my mum's birthday celebration this afternoon. So today is a high tea for my mum this afternoon. Uh, there's a big bunch of us all going and it'll be really fun. It's just at our local casino. There's like a little bar restaurant thing there. I did some chores this morning. Um, unpacking med supplies that I've been putting off for ages. I changed my sheets. I put on some washing, I showered, um, what else have I done? I started reading Aragon, I finished the um, Inheritance Game series, I don't know if there's like an actual name for the series, but I finished the series, and then I went to came out to get the fourth book, like the add-on book, um, and finished that in a day and a half, so over four days I finished the last three books, which is really upsetting because I was so easy to read and I was in such a reading slump beforehand and now I'm terrified that I'm gonna get into a reading slump because they were just so easy to read. But I started Aragon, which is definitely gonna be slower. It's teeny words, I'm sorry, but what is this? So far, it's very good. And I'm actually, I don't think I've ever read Aragon. I do know that a fifth book just came out as well or is coming out this year, which is very exciting. And I've got all four books. I've never read it. I've seen the movie, but that was yeah, like ages back and all I remember is that it was a dragon and a boy and I've learned that already in the old book, so <laughs> we're good to go. I cleared out my desk because I decided to sign up for like a prep course for uni. You might not know that I actually signed up for a diploma in languages that I'm starting. It's just part time online starting next year and I'm so excited to finally have a degree to my name when I finish. I have attempted to study a few times and most of the time it's in fact every time it's been my health either mental or physical that's um that has made me have to stop i'm going to take it really slow this time i've decided to do a diploma because it's a bit shorter and um yeah i've been so close i literally uh the last thing that i did i was one test off finishing um and my physical health was really bad and i couldn't continue physically like that um with some limitations with physical stuff basically i don't know how to explain it 
um, but I couldn't continue. I was literally one test away. I would finished everything apart from that test and um, that gets to me when I think about it because I have, I just don't have anything to my name and I don't have like incredible work experience or anything. Um, so it's a bit hard. So I'm really excited to do the diploma and then I got an email last week with like an offer to just do a free, I think it's four weeks maybe or two months course, um, just at your own pace and just learn again to like reference, write, write essays and stuff like that. And to begin with, I was like, oh, I don't need that. But actually it's been a very long time since I've studied. <laughs> so um, I decided to do it. So that starts tomorrow. So I've cleared out my desk because I'm all ready to go. Okay team, it's almost time to go to mum's drinks. I've got this dress on. <laughs> I'll put some photos in. Um, I'm feeling okay. A bit rough, but I feel like I'm going to be able to make it. And then I've got work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Just have to make it through that and my physio. Thanks for coming along this week. It's been a good Maggie. <laughs> Thanks for coming along this week. It has been long, but I feel like I am getting a little bit better physically. Um, and we know more about Mags, so that's good. Have a fabulous day. I would love if you could like this video, click subscribe and ring the bell. It would mean so much to me. Don't forget, life is tough, but so are we. See you next time.